Hi, hi, I'm here. The other day I did a boil test using this x Light alcohol stove. It's a jetted stove. I tried boiling two cups of water using this with uh, a half of a fluid ounce or about 15 milliliters of methanol. It didn't bring it to a boil. That was in the Boy Scout pot. In 8 minutes 36 seconds it ran out and only got the water up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit or 96.1 degrees centigrade. Then I got a comment from Griffin50 asking if this would work with the GSI minimalist pot. And I thought, hmm, cool, interesting. If this works with that, this could make a really nice kit. So I'm going to try the same test again with the two cups of water because that fits in here up to about this. Being the smaller pot, not sure how it'll work, but if it does that would be really nice so this is a half of a fluid ounce 15 milliliters you have to be careful with this you don't want to fill it up higher the stove up higher than the jets on the outside and there's a couple of breather holes on the inside that you want to keep below uh, on the inside it's about a quarter inch lower than the holes so I still have a little space there this is a jetted stove so we end up having to light it and wait for it to come to a bloom. Not sure what would happen. Well, it wouldn't. If I put a pot on there, it would just put it out. So this is one of the problems with jet stoves versus wick stoves. You got to wait for the thing to come to a bloom. And in cold temperature like this, right now it's 46 degrees room temperature with 43% humidity. And a problem with this is, all this time that it's burning, it's losing alcohol. But, you know, you have your tr good and bad things about stuff. I guess I could put some alcohol on the pad. I'm using the insulating pad. Okay, there we have the flames. Two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now three minutes into the test. Temperature is up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the stove is now settling down. The first, cup, the first two minutes, uh, it was huffing and the flames were really blowing out and stuff. Just something that happens with this burner, I guess. Uh, you just make sure that you're in a cleaned area on something that won't burn and you, you're set. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, and there go the flames at 753. 753. And the temperature was 199 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Not good. Hmm. Now, you know, there's several things here. Like I said, the room temperature is 46 degrees, so it's kind of chilly in here. This whole side of the pot is acting like a heat sink and sucking some of the heat out. Yeah, see, I can, wow, I can feel it on there. So whatever heat you feel on this means that it's radiating out and being pulled off the pot. I have an idea that I want to try. I think I'll, if I still have time today, I'll do one more test on this. But what I was going to say is if this was the summer or something with a higher room temperature, I'm willing to bet this would have gotten to a boil with two cups. I'm sure with one cup, which would only go up about that high, you'd get a boil. But uh, that might work for coffee, tea, stuff like that. But if you wanted to cook something, two cups seems to be about the amount of water you need for things. Okay, so uh, I hope this helps Griffin 50. I really had hope that this would come to a boil. The other one I used on was the uh, Boy Scout pot, which was wider, which I think got more surface con surface contact to the flame. Okay, so I'm going to let all this stuff cool down, and I'm going to come back and do another test on this. So I thank Griffin for his comment, Griffin50, hope I'm saying that right, for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.